Hey guys, what is up? Oliver BC here. Welcome back to the first owner Road to Glory. This is episode number 12, of course. And uh, in today's video, guys, I was going to open a lot of the Champions League 2 player packs, but they haven't actually released them. They've just released these, released these SBCs, which actually really, really suck. So I'm going to do some of these common upgrades, and then just so I can do one of these A1 Plus packs, and uh, we'll see what we get, and then we'll go from there. So I've decided to complete the UEFA marquee matchups before we do anything else, just so I don't use players that you need for these. Um, so the first one is Barcelona versus Inter. We've done it very cheaply here. It's for a 45k pack. So I think that EA has actually listened to the community that we've been asking for marquee matchups to have, give better packs. And with a 45k pack, I know it's not the greatest pack, but you know it's not that hard to do. So EA is finally listening, it seems, and made marquee matchups actually worth doing, especially since you get 25k back for the other one. And you get the three Champions League cards uh, at the end of it. And then for the Ajax versus Benfica, we did it with Benfica. We just had those guys in the club, which is awesome. Uh, this is how we did the rest of it. We needed some Dutchies, so we just used some Dutch guys in defense. And uh, yeah, that was also really cheap. I didn't, think, I, didn't buy, I didn't need to buy a single player. And we get a 45k pack, a 25k pack. And of course, the three UCL player pack. So, we've opened two of these on this account. We got Fernandinho from the first one, which was amazing. That was forward doing the first one I wrote to Glow, so we sold him, which is unfortunate, because it would be so good for my team now. And the second one, we got someone I don't remember, because it was that bad. So, let's start with the 25k pack. Okay, no boards from the 25k pack. It's going to be Stepanchenko or something. Yep, Stepanchenko. Stepanenko. Anything else in this pack? Okay, we get Gaia, who's not terrible, and um, non who will go towards doing probably the Champions League common pack. Onto the 45k pack now. Hopefully we can pull something big from this. Obviously, I don't know why I'm even saying that. I mean, obviously we're hoping we can get something good. Um, not even boards. <laughs> so top rack. Great. And nothing else useful. Pack looks really not... Not too good on this account. Maybe it's all been building up for the Champions League pack. Come on. Will we get like an, an Allison would be sick. A Van Dyke would obviously be amazing. A Ronaldo. It's obviously boards. It has to be boards. Spanish. Goalkeeper. Casillas. He's in form at the moment. And this is even worse than that. Oh, that's really bad. We also get Pellegrini and Lato. Sick. Just so it's on record, guys, I do not think that these packs are worth it at all. You're much better off just doing two gold upgrade packs because the max you can get in this is like a farm and 84 rate. That's literally the best thing you can get. I've already got him. But with the amazing team of the week that's in packs um, at the moment with Suarez and Mane and stuff, anyway, you're much better off getting packs to be able to get those guys and like, you know, high ceiling, rare players and stuff. From these, like, there's literally like. You know, there's nothing good you can possibly get out of them. I'm just doing them so I can do one of the 81 plus packs, which also, um, that isn't worth doing either, but I just want to do one, just, you know, for fun. I'm definitely not going to do another one after that, though. Cornet and Santon. And in the final pack, can we get, like, a Sturridge or something? That could be cool. Or a Milner, is he non rare? I think Milner's non rare. An Arthur. An Arthur's not bad, actually. And Gagliardini. Anyway, let's put them into the 81 plus pack now. Alright, so this is how I am completing the UCL 81 plus pack, guys. Obviously, they're all untradeable, and uh, none of them are making any of my teams anytime soon, so I'm not too bothered by that. But this is definitely the only one we're doing, guys. This is not worth it at all. Let me repeat that for you guys. This is not worth it at all. Please don't do this. You, know, you can just do one, you know, just for fun, but like, it is complete, completely waste of coins to do these, guys. So, uh, yeah, I hope we can get something good out of it. And here it is. Will this be worth the probably like 15,000 coins and like 10 minutes it took to make this? It's bored. It's got to be because it's a rare Champions League card. Polish. Okay, Piz check. He's useless because Michal Weisser is my favorite card in this FIFA. And that was just a complete waste of coins and time. Uh, Piz check is a good card though. Don't get me wrong, like, he is a good card. But we've already got our right back for the year. And he's in the Bundesliga too. And he's got better links. Than piss check. Like, I know piss check links to Royce, which is cool, but like, so does Vice because the German link, so that's literally useless for me. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna do some gold upgrade packs just because I want to be able to pack a Suarez or a Mane pretty much. And uh, yeah, we'll get some of those and I'll be right back. Before you open a couple of gold upgrade packs, though, guys, I did just remember that there's this flash of brilliance SPCA 
for another 45k pack. The last one was crap, but you know, we'll try our luck with another one. Uh, everything in this is first owner, apart from that um, Felipe who I've just had in the club for ages. Um, and uh, yes, I used him back when this was just a Jenny to Gerard, not the first owner of Road to Glory. So this technically costs 2.4k to do. For a prime goal players pack, that is guaranteed profit. We don't need Guy because we have Tia Hernandez, so I'm fine with using up him. And um, yeah, we're using Mbemba as the rare um, Champions League card that we need to use. So yeah, we will trade that in. Let's open that bad boy up. So this is another prime gold place pack. We opened one just a little bit ago and we didn't even get a board. So hopefully we'll make up for that with a big walkout here. Not, not even a board again. It's going to be Alan actually. Alan is a good player. Okay. As far as you know, no board is concerned. Alan is a good ATR player to pull. Um, we're not using a City Art team or anything, or a Brazilian team or anything, but when we eventually use one of those, he will definitely go into the lineup and nothing else of any interest in that pack. And I have to discard Bowl Team because my chance of list is full. I know this has been a really short video, guys, but I'm just trying to rest up. As you, some of you might know, I've been quite sick over the last couple of days with a really sore throat and runny nose and stuff. So I will open these three packs and then that will probably be it for this episode. All right, two rare gold player pack number one. No boards. That's the story of today's pack opening, isn't it? Musilera. What am I getting a Uruguayan for? We also get loan. Pack number two. We have to get a board from this pack opening, surely. We've opened a lot of packs. I mean, 245s, 25. A few of these bad boys. Okay. It's going to be Rigoni. And we also get a cheaper moting. I didn't know I had him. Is he tradable? Yes. Okay, good. We'll send him up to the transfer list then. And the final two rare gold player pack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like as it helps out a lot. And um, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. I feel like I get Montero from every single one of these. Every time I do like a little pack opening of two rare gold player packs, I always get Montero. Oh. He's trying to like it good.